When Josh Heifel arrived on Rocky Top, the Volunteers' offense exploded into one of the most potent in all the nation. Last year, they averaged 21 and a half points a game. This year, 37.4. One of the big reasons is quarterback Hendon Hooker. He secured the QB job in the third week of the season and never looked back. Hard to believe it wasn't too long ago he wondered if he'd even ever play football again. The game of football for the Hooker family is you know, really one that kind of helps bind us together. And we just kind of use the principles of the game to kind of raise the family. Hooker going to take a shot down field. And look at this. The Falls take the lead. After God and my family, I'll, I'll do anything for the game of football. It is your off weekend. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get up on Saturday morning and go out to the park at seven o'clock mm -hmm. and work out with your father, but you did. Why was that important? That's just kind of the, um, the mindset that my family has. If we're not getting any work in and it's just all leisure time, then that's not gonna benefit us down the road. Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker comes from a football family. His father, Allen, was a record-setting quarterback at North Carolina A&T in the mid-1980s. And that's where his younger brother, Austin, is a quarterback now. It is incredible. It's a godsend because there is no feeling better than to be able to just have a relationship with your kids and to be able to have things in common. And we're excited about going over to get to see Austin uh, at my alma mater, and, and, uh, and he's wearing my number. You see Austin? Yeah, I see him right there. Oh, Austin got the red hat on? Yeah. OK. My wife would take my highlight tapes and put it in uh, the VHS. <laughs> and she said, that's, that's daddy right there. And so they would sit there in awe and watch me. A lot of children, their first word is mama or dada. Hendon's first word was ball. Football has been a part of Hendon's life ever since, including winning two state titles in high school, signing to play quarterback at Virginia Tech, and starting 15 games in his last two seasons with the Hokies. But his football dreams were put on hold in 2020 when a COVID outbreak on the team led to a positive test. It was um, the normal a COVID-19 protocol. Um, after you quarantine, you go to the hospital and they run a couple tests on your heart. The next day, they told me that they think something's wrong with my heart, that I might need open heart surgery. Um, and I really just kind of just sat back in my chair and was like, wow, everything that I've worked for could be taken away from me just like that. We get a phone call saying, hey, you all might want to come up. We need to take a look at Hendon's heart and maybe go through a, a, an emergency procedure. And they said he may never be able to play sports yeah, again. Yeah, and never be able to play sports again. And so, uh, I mean, that was scary. As Hendon was prepped for tests on his heart, uncertain what his football future would be, he was moved to detail in writing his appreciation for all the game had given him. Purpose identity, family. They were injecting the medicine in me while I was typing it out, um, but I just felt like it was, I just poured my heart out into that poem, promising the game that I would give it my 100% after uh, God and my family. Waking up from the medicine and realizing that I was, I was good to go, um, the doctor came in and told me that everything checked out clear. We were really grateful and thankful for the opportunity for Hendon to have a chance to live out what his dream is. Almost losing the game he loved so dearly gave Hendon a new perspective. And five months later, he transferred to a new team, the Tennessee Volunteers. Hooker keeps it. Touchdown, Tennessee. His family's football DNA is hardwired into, into who he is. When you walk into this building, you're gonna feel his energy and his passion every single day. By being a great leader on the field, I know how to be a great leader off the field. By being a great teammate, I know how to be a, a great friend. 
it's formed me to be the person I am today.